Don't hit, don't hit. No hitting. Please don't hit. Mm. Not if I join you. More than Mary or pal. <clears throat> oh, although I wish you were a hot mom or a sexy nanny who loves keeping secrets. Which one of these adorable little parasites is yours? The black one. That makes sense. Yeah. Don't eat the sand. Do not eat that sand. No hitting. No hitting. There's my guy. See the little boy who hit a baby? How old is he? I don't care. My wife knows that shit. You, your boy's a handsome lad. Thanks. She's actually a girl. It's my daughter. Oh my god. Yeah, her hair just refuses to grow. Is that a Star Wars t-shirt? Guess what? Her favorite one's Attack of the Clones. That's the worst one. It's awful. By a lot. Have you tried Octonauts? Yep, nothing. I enjoy Octonauts. How about uh, Scuba Dots? Hate. Bubble Guppies? Hate. Dora? Hate. Diego? Super hate. Jake and the Neverland Pirates? Hate. Sophia the First? Hate. Yo Gabba Gabba? Yo, Haiti hates it. He hates them all, but she loves the Star Wars. It's awful. It's my personal hell. What's her name? Jessica. Well, that's good. She has a real name. Yeah. I hate these parents who name their daughters after cities. Oh, Brooklyn. God. London. You may as well name the girl Will Do Anal. Right. I feel like if you get a name like that, you have to move to that city and start sucking dicks for a living. Exactly. I'm so glad I don't have a daughter. I know I would raise the hottest slut. What's your wife do? Spend my money. How about you? I'm not married. What? How is that possible? That's my girlfriend and I forgot to pull out, so... Forgetting to pull out is how babies are made. Yeah. She, she didn't trick you into asking her? Oh, God. That's my little mistake over there. They're all, they're all mistakes. Yeah, you just yeah. didn't ask her. You gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah, unless God shows me mercy and kills me in my sleep. It'll never happen. I will live long enough to pay for college and his gay wedding. I see you! Hey, don't eat that sand! I see that you're on hey, the baby, slide. Don't... Slide down here and get in the car and let's go, honey. Yeah. Honey. Don't eat the grass. Baby, do not eat the grass. I see you, sweetie. Yes, you're in the bounce house. Oh, that's good bouncing. You're a good bouncer. Who has a bounce house? Why oh, they just call it Casa del Concussion? Why oh, they just call it, I'm a fucking idiot dad. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna show off, I'm gonna seriously hurt myself and ruin the birthday party. God, I hate theme parties. They're worse than baggage claim. They're worse than potty training. They're worse than Bravo. Nothing's worse than Bravo. You know who has theme parties? Yeah, gay men and women over 30. And new parents. My stupid wife wants to front shit out another one of these time money suckers. No, don't let her do it. She keeps forgetting to take her birth control pill. Oh, so does my girl. It's just one pill, you take it every day. It's one pill a day. They should make birth control pill red wine. They never forget to take that shit. Could you imagine if there was a birth control pill for men? Oh, I'd chew it like bubble gum. I'd keep it on a candy dish on my coffee table. Why don't they have birth control pills for men? It would end the human race. It'd be so worth it. No hitting. No hitting, sweetie. Don't eat the grass, baby. Remember what daddy said? That's what cows do. What's your daughter's name again? Jessica. God, she's ugly. Some days I don't even want to look at her. What's your son's name? I don't care. My wife named him something stupid that means something to her and her dumb family. I wanted to name him something epic, like Epic, or North, or Hawk, or J.R. McColton. Yeah, she would never let those slide. She shouldn't, they're terrible names. Oh look, here comes the cake. No hitting, no hitting, no hitting! Oh! That was the birthday boy. I should have brought a present. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. I'm leaving. <clears throat> That's an even Say you're sorry! He's fine, he's fine! Have you tried Little Einstein's? Hates. Baby Einstein? That's for babies, Danny. I'm a big girl. I'll oh, fuck her with the mouth on her. She's so disrespectful. She gets that from her mother. Because you, sir, you're an eloquent gentleman. Well, I appreciate being appreciated. Whatever that is, do not eat it. Permission to come aboard, gents. Aye, aye, Captain. Although I wish you were a second wife who, for the first time, was feeling physically neglected. Or a college girl, home for the summer, trying to make some extra cheese so she babysits and sucks dad's dicks on the side. How about a sex slave who comes over on a boxcar in a boat? Like in The Wire, only she lives. And to make ends meet, she takes care of nice American family, but all she knows is sex slaving. She needs the sex slaving to live, see? I like this guy. This guy's good. He's like a poet. It's incredible. He paints a picture with his words. I love his words. Oh! oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Take it easy, Don Draper. What do you think, this is Europe? You do know you're not in Europe, right? There's right. no smoking. There's no smoking. You can't smoke. There's no smoking on the playground. There's no smoking on the playground. Which one's yours? The little black one. That makes sense. How about you, Selleck? You see the little boy who's now hitting a girl in a wheelchair? Stop that! I do. Stop hitting! 
You see those three motherfuckers monopolizing the monkey bars? Three? Triplets. That's real? As real as the rich tobacco that fills my lungs and brings me that much closer to death's knowing embrace. Three? Yeah, we were having problems, so we went to the doctor, and the doctor said we need to put three eggs in there and make sure one of them takes. They all take. Oh, they all take. And take. And take. And Tres. Take. See the little one with lights in his shoes? That's their leader. He runs around the house like it's North Korea and he's Kim Jong fucking ill. How do you do it? I smoke. Three. You want one? Yes. Go tell mommy. Three. Go tell mommy what you saw here. You hit whoever you want. Sip the juice. I got enough to go around. No hitting. No hitting. Do not hit. Keep your hands and fists inside the vehicle at all times. I am serious. Don't eat a stick, baby. Dogs eat sticks. You know why they call them the terrible twos? Because they are. Because psychotically bipolar twos doesn't roll off the tongue. Bitch whore piece of shit too doesn't have the alliteration. It's more accurate. Oh, it's right on the fucking nose. Little kids are like tiny adorable people that are schizophrenic stupid assholes. Oh, I'd like that on a t-shirt. I want it on a coffee mug and then the coffee mug is filled with poison. Then I drink the poison and then I sleep forever. Do you believe in heaven? I believe in hell. I believe I'm in hell right now and that the devil is two people, my wife and son. You seem different. I was mad, so I decided my face doesn't deserve a mustache. Why is a great human like you mad? Is it the constant hitting? Nah, it's a phase, I'm guessing. I don't care. Is it the potty training? He shit in the yard last week, so at least he's housebroken. Is it the lack of sex? God, I wish. She's late. I can give you guys a ride. I mean, I don't have any extra car seats, but when we were kids, we didn't even have seat belts, let alone car seats. We, me and my brother, we just free range in the back seat. If she's running late. She's, she's not running not. late. I would never rely on that ice queen to get me and what's his name from point A to point B. She's late. She's late. She's late. Oh, shit. My life is over. She's late? Please kill me now. She's late. Does Planned Parenthood make house calls and perform the procedure while the patient is asleep, unaware, and unwilling? How did this happen? Just binge watching Empire. She's all fired up thinking she's Cookie Lions. She ran out of episodes, came in and basically raped me. Uh, at least you got laid. Don't be gross. Just take your fucking pill. It sits there on her nightstand, mocking me. Maybe it's not mine. It's yours. I know it's mine. I wish my wife would slut herself up and go have sex with someone else. Oh, an affair would save your marriage. My wife is so selfish for not cheating on me. It's yours. It's mine. You know the only thing worse than having a kid? Having two? Having more than one kid. Baby, don't no hitting. No hitting. leaf? Do not hit. That's for dinosaurs. She's eating the, the whole branch. She's eating its roughage. You want a time out? Yeah. Don't eat mulch, baby. That's what babies do. You're a big girl now. She's like a fucking goat. She's like an ugly shaved black goat. She's like a filthy mm. junk drawer. Happy Father's Day. Is it Father's Day? My wife gave me a shitty tie and a listless hand job while the boy was taking a nap. I'm guessing it's Father's Day. I didn't get shit. That sounds like Father's Day. The ideal Father's Day present for me is a stack of porn, case of beer, and to be left alone. The ideal Father's Day present for me? A day without Bravo. I want a coupon book where each coupon says, you may now turn off the view. You know the flaming fucking hoops I had to jump through for Mother's Day a month ago? I had to take out a loan all the nonsense I bought that woman. I had to cook breakfast. Buy flowers. Buy a present. Presents. Spa day. Girls night out. Nails did. Hair done. And I don't get shit for Father's Day? Maybe when you go home, she'll be naked sitting on a brand new rider mower. I don't want her dirty ass on my new rider mower. She needs to put clothes on. It's unsanitary. She's killing the resale value of your imaginary new rider mower. I would never sell my imaginary rider mower. You're lucky you can imagine things. What do you mean? My imagination died the day I found out my wife was pregnant with another one of these adorable money pits. What about an au pair from France who doesn't think anal sex is cheating? Nope, nothing. What about a busty maid who wants to spit shine your dirty unmentionables? No, all I see is my pregnant wife and her stomach and her ankles and her neediness are growing. What about a naughty nanny who wants to breastfeed you and then wants you to cock feed her? No, no, I just see my fat wife on that birthing table and she's trying to push out another money magnet, but all she does is keep shitting. Oh, there's so much shitting. So Nobody much tells shitting. you how much shitting there is. All the shitting. Those maternity nurses, they should be commended. They're like a NASCAR shit crew. You know what I want for Father's Day? What? Tickets to see NASCAR. You like NASCAR? Fucking hate NASCAR. But you know how long those races last? All damn day. A few women there barely qualify as women. Just four hours of men driving left. Ultimate Father's Day. Fuck Father's Day. <sighs> no hitting. Hey. No baby. body blows. Put that toddler down. Get that baby's Drop out that of your toddler. Mouth. Drop. Oh, don't put, put that, that toddler can. down, Mr. Put him down now.
one of these screaming midget present junkies sits on my lap mistaking me for Santa Claus, I'm gonna punt it like it's fourth and long. Fuck Christmas. I hate Christmas. It's the worst holiday by all of them. They play the same 25 carols on constant loop everywhere you go. All I want for Christmas is Michael Buble and Harry Connick Jr.'s vocal cords hung by the chimney with care. Baby, it's cold outside isn't even a Christmas carol. It's not. It's more like a police report. You know Dean Martin's gonna build Cosby the shit out of Martina McBride if she don't get into that cab. She clearly says the answer is no, she sings it. No, it's not a Christmas carol, it's a rape carol. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but my stupid family inside is more frightful. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas? No, I'm not. I had a claymation dream where I murdered Burl Ives. It was a holly jolly homicide. Fuck all these old crusty tired Christmas specials. They're special. There's no Christmas special for me. Only brown Christmas heroes, a bald white dying kid named Charlie. He clearly has cancer. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer is a little needy stubby antler red light district bitch. Rudolph needs to shut the fuck up. And that little elf of his that wants to be a fucking dentist needs to take Rudolph's teeth out and suck all this dick. That's graphic. Don't eat the dirt, baby! Why does every relative I have expect me to put my pregnant beast ice cow wife on a plane during the worst time to travel? We live in a place where it doesn't snow. Why the fuck do you want me to put my little two-year-old on a plane to a place where it does snow? No hitting! All I want for Christmas is a male birth control pill that's a spray like that tween mule piss axe. All I want for Christmas is to go to sleep until New Year. Santa Claus is a jolly old soul and a beacon of obesity. Oh, I bet all he wants for Christmas is more insulin. He sees you when you're sleeping, really. He knows when you're awake. So why is Santa Claus looking at my kid when my kid's trying to fucking sleep. It's disgusting. I bet you Santa watches his elves while they sleep. Old, creepy, weird, fat, bearded Portland dude. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. That's what I'm afraid of. Whoever said tis better to give than receive never had fucking kids. I've never given my wife a Christmas present that she actually liked. I've literally given her things that she asked for. She still didn't like them. How long you been married? 42 years. How was that possible? I count in dog years because my wife's a bitch. Makes sense. I'm the one who makes it a goddamn Merry Christmas. Every year. I hang all the lights. I buy the tree. I put the damn tree on the damn car. I put the damn tree into that little damn tree holder with those four rusty metal impossible screws. The tree inevitably falls every year. I put the tree back up. I buy all the biggest, best presents. I stuff the fucking stockings with the best shit. I am Father Christmas. Fuck motherfucking Father Christmas. And what the fuck is eggnog? It's like a yolky pancake batter that gets you drunk. Looks like reindeer cum. It's the only thing keeping the clauses together. You know what I want for Christmas? To be left alone with your tablet and its wealth of unending free porn sites. Nope. For Bravo and Andy Cohen to be sent to a deserted island and for that deserted island to burn. No. A day without children? No, it sounds good, but no. What do you want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas is just like that one Christmas carol says, Silent Night. Yes, one night of silence. One night where everyone shuts the fuck up. No. Round yon virgin. Oh god, I'll pound round yon virgin. I barely have sex, and when I do, it's with that same damn woman and her lazy, predictable moves. Nobody knows what round yon virgin's gonna do. She never done it. Exactly. If I could go back in time, I would have pulled out. Yeah, but you didn't. Nope. Xmas. I do. I miss every one of my exes. How many round yon virgins did you demystify? A gentleman never kisses and tells, sir. That few, huh? Very few. I mean, by the time they got round to me, they weren't round yon virgins anymore. Round, Baby. sure. Baby! Plenty round. Big gals. You'd think they'd be grateful. Yawn, they yawned. Big gals just yawning on top of me, crushing me. Just milky and sweaty and creases. Christmas. Baby, give daddy the remote. Honey, give daddy the remote. Give daddy! Adorable shit. He can't read or write or speak in complete sentences, but he has figured out how to delete my favorite shows. My daughter knows how to do two things, unlock my phone and ruin my fucking life. Don't hit the TV! I haven't watched a complete game of any televised sports since before my kid was born. I haven't experienced joy since before I met my wife. Your place is nice. Yes, isn't it great? We went with the motif of what if his playroom was every fucking room. The hundreds of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars really brings the room together. My favorite room in the house is inside the oven with the gas running. Thanks. What's your wife's name again? Who cares? Something plain. Ugh! Pre-game nonsense is such fucking bullshit. The only time I want Terry Bradshaw's opinion is which moonshine I should drink and which creek I should bury a body in. James Brown is the godfather of boring. You know why I love Peyton Manning? Because his name isn't Peyton Womaning. I love Cam Newton because, well, unlike the Oscars, a black human might actually win something. I just want a good game, a competitive game on a television in a house with no children in it. God, I wish I was a pro football player. Multi-millionaire who only works 16 days a year. Nope. Encouraged by loved ones, adoring fans, and the media to be a giant wife-beating rage monster. Nope. Every concussion brings me that much closer to forgetting my fucking family. Oh, sweet forgetful concussions. Why have they not fucking left yet? It takes my girl 45 minutes to get out of the house with my kid. If I could breastfeed, I could just phase that woman out of my life for good. And I'd be generous as shit with my titty milk. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that your coffee? I'll top you off. <coughs> bye, sweetie. Bye, honey. Bye, family. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. Die.
Die now. Die, die. I wish death upon you all. Hope, hope. God, she's such a bitch. You settled, man. That's what happens when a great catch like you settles. You are so right. When you're right, you're right. You're so right. You know, Cam Newton just had a baby, so like, even though his life's really great right now, his life is not really great right now. He named the baby Chosen. Yep. Cam Newton has chosen to ruin his amazing life. You have chosen poorly, Cam Newton. I am pro-choice and anti-chosen, Mr. Newton. Big time. Game time. Big game. No wife. No kids. Just game. Mm. Mm. Did you just whip her, Nene? You wouldn't understand. Slot receiver like a tight end. A lot of those are good. Turn your magic on. She feels sad. They were all yellow. <clears throat> oh, good game. Oh, great game. One for the ages. <clears throat> we should probably see who won. Yeah, we should see who won the game. Oh. Paw Patrol? Hates. Pickle and Peanut? Hates. Really? I enjoy the voices on Pickle and Peanut. Doc McStuffins? She make hates it. Well, what about Miles from Tomorrowland? There's space shit in that. No, despises. It's either Attack of the Clones or Attack of the Screaming, Crying, Tantrum, Bitch, Fit. She's an idiot. Did you take her to see Star Wars? The Force uh, annoys me. That's PG-13, Daddy. I am three. Oh, so she's a fucking math whiz now. I have a theorem, Pythagoras. You are ruining your mother and I's relationship. I thought the terrible twos were terrible, and I was right. They were fucking terrible. But I cannot stand these moody, needy three nagers. Three is the worst. It's worse than customs. It's worse than the real housewives of all cities. It's worse than my first marriage, which I know is worse because I'm currently still in it. My girl wants to do date night tonight. Red flag, it's a trap, abort, abort. I voted for the classic loveless standby dinner in a movie because at least at a movie, they tell you on a giant screen not to talk. No talking, no texting, just napping. Yeah, and at dinner, it's rude to talk with your mouth full, so I figured if I'm eating or at a movie, I don't have to say a word to that devil woman. Smart. You need a uh, babysitter? Because I got a homeschooled, teenaged, churchy weirdo I can recommend. No, Jessica's grandmother's coming over to watch her. But first, lecture me on how not marrying Jessica's mother is ruining three generations of lives. Unmarried. Brilliant. Stay strong. I'm proud of you. Fuck date night. It's the worst. You know, every now and again, I, um surprise my wife with flowers, not because I'm a hopeless romantic, because it's a perfect metaphor for our marriage. Once vibrant, full of life, colorful, now dying rapidly, and just for show. Don't hit the ah, oh, sand, baby. It's not applesauce. No hitting, no hitting. Oh God, he's got a good jab. He's like Manny Pack and Play, Floyd Bedwetter, Muhammad Plan B, Tyke My Son. No close fists, no slapping, no backhands, no kicking. Mm. Heard a woman call her daughter today Capri, which is a kind of pants. It's like saying, listen to your mother, dockers. You need a timeout, culottes. Oh, white people are idiots. You seem chipper. She's pregnant. You blew it. She's pregnant. You fucking blew it. She's pregnant. You were my hero. She's pregnant. You were living the damn dream. Walking around, unmarried, living the fucking dream. I didn't know if you were asleep or awake because you were living my dream unmarried. Yes, you had a kid, an ugly human-ish vacuum cleaner that actually eats keys, real keys, but Poe, but he's nerfed. She's pregnant. Man, of course she tricked you into getting pregnant. Look at you, you're a goddamn dreamboat. You're a fucking catch. You're like a living, breathing Patrick Swayze. She's pregnant. And now you got two women in your house, one sort of daughter, and then the other just pregnant and Got a virus living up inside her. She's gonna get that pregnant woman's sense of smell where she can tell if the milk's turned from inside a closed fridge from two rooms over. Like a cranky bloodhound. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. With twins. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me a sec. I just puked. I just puked a little for you. How's your newborn baby girl? Small, loud, needy, who cares? What's her name? Sydney. Sydney? Sydney. But that's a city name. It's not just a city name. It's a city name and it's a man's name. That's ground zero for slutty names. Now coming to the stage, Sydney. She hates her father. She's getting even with her mother and right now, act fast, lap dances are four for one. Sydney is the name of an award-winning man like Lumet or Potier. 
Or a redhead who fucks random dudes at a gas station like it's a fucking job. I should be so lucky. Ah, peewee soccer is the worst. Has anyone ever scored in three and four year old soccer ever? Has anyone scored ever? I don't think anyone's ever completed a forward pass. This bitch just picked up the ball and ran with it. Oh, well, at least that was some ball movement. Showed some initiative. Oh, fuck this coach and his positivity bullshit. He's rewarding mediocrity. I didn't play sports when I was this young. You shouldn't have. I didn't have. The only good thing my parents ever did was they didn't put me in shit. God bless them. Are they still with us? They're not here now, so who cares? When I'm a grandparent, I'm gonna give less than zero fucks. I will be deaf to needy children. I will be blind to parents in need. I can't wait to move into an old folks home and fuck everything moving. Well, I'm gonna fuck everything that's not moving. For me, moving is a real senior turnoff. I can't wait for that menopause pussy. An old lady's getting pregnant. I ain't pulling out of nothing. I'm gonna be like George W. Bush in Iraq. I ain't never pulling out of that bitch. You shouldn't. Oh, damn, these bleachers are so hot. This is the least comfortable I've ever been. And I one time walked in on my uncle masturbating his dog. I would kill that dog in front of your uncle for one of those inflatable hemorrhoid donut-sized pillows right now. Look at Super Dad down there with his folding camping rocking chair, comfy prick. Why are you filming this? Nobody wants to watch this again. I don't even want to watch soccer when it's Ronaldo versus I don't know a second soccer player. Messy. It's real messy. What is it, ladies' night at the jerk convention for real jerks? Oh, here comes trouble with a capital T. Three? A little bird told me you sasses were down here sassing about ouchies on your bum bums. Oh my god, you're like a non-fiction Jesus. I liberated these beauties from the Hollywood Bowl after a grease sing-along went South Pacific. Soccer. Gross. Why can't they play something American like t-ball or bumper bowling? Soccer. I'd rather watch swimming, actual swimming. The Native Americans invented lacrosse. Tee lacrosse, helmeted bumper bowling. It would still stink. Kids just stink at sports. And kids stink, physically. One of my dummies already gets B.O. It's disgusting, he smells like Jonah Hill's neck. I think a kid just punched the ball. No hitting, handball! They're not calling anything. You know, in true European football fashion, I almost wore a scarf in support of my team, but I knew I'd strangle myself with it. It would be a mercy killing. It would be a welcome improvement to the day, gents. It'll never happen. No, I'll live long enough to watch my three sons become my two daughters and their brother with those ear piercings that are giant lobe circles that look like Gumby's gaping asshole. On that note, you heroes go ahead and keep those cushions. Protect your dad holes. But I want you to fill your brain toilets with this one word, vasectomy. Hell, I even know a guy that can cut us a deal. Remember, boys, it's not vasectomy. It's for sect to us. Is he even real? He's like Tyler Durden. I think he's a shared hallucination. No, no hitting. Hands are for high fives, honey. Oh, don't eat the grass, baby. He's fine. It's artificial turf. Red card. Red card. Red card.